two are bad friends. Who are these two idiots? A white dude and an Asian dude. You two are disgusting. Well, you two are something. We're bad friends. Happy Fourth of July weekend for you. Everyone good. So good. I got to Bobby's house for the Fourth of July party. Yeah. And he made an announcement. He goes, the whites are here. The whites are here. No, because I was telling everyone at the party, I go, I can't wait for the whites to get here. It was so brown. Because it was so brown and uncomfortable so for me. Because I grew up in, <laughs> I do, because I, I grew up, I grew up in both worlds. Yeah, and Asian and brown. And white. You had brown, <laughs> you had brown. Yeah, it's like if but, I was, let's say I was a Jedi, right? Mm-hmm. And half my time, I, I grew up in Tatooine. And half my time, I grew up in Hoth. That you, well, that you split your right. time. Yeah, so. What do you like more? What do I like more? So if I was in Hoth, I'd be like. Um, I can't wait for the sand people to get here. Like if my 4th of July party was at yep. in Hoth and the sand people would probably show up in those woolly mammoths. Yeah. We would like to call it the Eric Griffins. <laughs> <laughs> and they would show up with the Eric Griffins mm-hmm. and they would get up, hoo, 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 you know, whatever they do with the sticks. What is it? Hoo, 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 hoo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There they are. There we are. Yeah, the sand people. That's me, right? Yeah, that's you, definitely. Because that's closer to me than... Well, that's how ethnic people and immigrants see view white people. White people. Yeah, yeah. with that. That's kind of how we look. We come with weapons, and we look very scary. Very scary. And all we all we're really bringing is a tuna casserole. But yeah. they're like these whites, and, and in weird. the mask, you're mouthing the n word the whole time. Oh yeah, the whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like racial repeat, epithets repeat, underneath. Yeah, yeah. So just let that be known. You guys are sand people. Sure, I'm a sand people. So anyway, Sunday we were. I was like, when are the sand people gonna get here? And then um, <laughs> and then all of a sudden, you know, I hear you guys. You heard us coming. Go, 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 go. You know, man. Ooh, 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 ooh. And you guys came. We came and we had not only did you, you, fun? you yeah. But you but you had so much Filipino food. Yeah, which I didn't touch. You didn't have uh, any of that? I ate the Mexican food. You ate the Mexican because there was a well, taco uh, truck that or I mean well, there's a, two uh, options. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Like if it was just Filipino food, I'd be like, I guess this is it. Do you like Filipino food? I have to survive food? and sustain myself. Yeah, but I can't do two different ethnicities. You can only you can only pick one. Yeah, yeah. That's why I never go to fusion restaurants. Yeah, we, we do. We've gone together. Yeah, I hate them though. What what, what fusion restaurant have we gone together? Well, Park's finest is fusion. Not, uh, yeah, no, that's more Filipino. But it's also it's also Korean barbecue combined. No, it's not. They do both. That wasn't Korean barbecue at Park. The, that part. There's two parks, by the way. There's one on Vermont. I know we talked about this. Right, we already talked about that. And the one that you went to was a Filipino restaurant that we know a guy that runs it, right? But he they and also had Filipino. a they no, had a Korean not barbecue. Korean food. There was a Korean guy there. There was no I was me. Yeah, I was there. You were there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you were cooking. Yeah, but I'm not working there. I figure if you're there, you're no, working. No, 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 no. They got to put you to no, work. No. Back, back. So anyway, you, and then I you're... tried the Filipino food. Did you like any of the stuff? That, who made all that stuff? It was catered. Yeah, catered. Did any, what's the stuff that you like the most? Filipino food. No, what? <laughs> what dishes? I like the curry curry and the... what's curry curry? Curry curry, but they did do it with a little accent. It's not curry curry. Curry curry. Curry curry. Curry curry. Yeah. What is so curry you... curry? It's just curry. Is it is yellow it curry? or no, red? It's it's pork with like peanut butter. Um, they sauce. have their own version, mm, like peanut butter satay. Yeah. Ooh, curry Ooh. curry Philippines. Philippines. So what was that? There was curry curry, and then there was crab legs sticking out of fried rice. Yeah, I think that was also kare kare. You guys don't need to leave the legs in there. You know that. <laughs> yeah. It's yummy. No, but the, but the, but it was like Wait, crawling the out of yeah the shells were like crawling out of the dish. Yeah, well, are you that lazy? Take the meat out of the shell. Sometimes no, the, they crack it. Eat. They crack the crab. Crack it. Put it. Take it they out. They crack the crab's brain, and the crab's like, oh my god! And yeah, they yeah. rip his body apart. Yeah. And they stuff it into rice. Right. I was like, just take the meat out. I, why were the legs sticking out of the? It, remember in Beetlejuice when all the sculptures came alive? Oh right, that's what it looked like in their on their in their dishes. Meanwhile, yeah. the nice little Mexican guy outside making tacos. Yeah, delicious. You saw you had some. I was so good. Yeah, so good. So good. Those guys are the best. They bring the flat top. By the way, he carried everything. What the fuck is this? That's in Beetlejuice when everything comes oh, out. Right, right, that's right. what the Filipino dishes look like. <laughs> yeah, right there. Yeah, that's a Filipino dish. One banana. Curry curry. Yeah, curry curry. That's it. Curry curry. That, so, no, that Mexican guy carried up a grill upstairs to your house yeah. by himself. Yeah, I understand that, but can I just... Nobody we, helped him. Because we paid him. <laughs> no, but dude, that no, was like that, no, 100 you, you, pounds. You don't understand. We pay him. We he paid him. He was dripping in sweat. You don't understand, friend. I, right. I literally go, yeah. you need help? And he goes, yeah. it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> he was freaking yeah, yeah, out. Yeah. You know, we go, Pedro. Right? How much did you pay Pedro. So we paid like 500 bucks or whatever for him to come, right? To cook. But I didn't know that. 
So I just kept throwing him like hundies. What's that noise? Tip. What's that noise? I don't know. There's a song. Do you hear that? Where's that coming from? <laughs> what do you have on your phone? <laughs> what was that? It's just my music. I don't know what it is. But you know why? So I have a playlist. But right? the whites love that. Yeah, but this whole playlist is called Fallout. Because in the game Fallout, they had all 50s music. Oh. So I just, anyway. Is that 50s? I don't know what it is. But let me ask you something. So tonight... <clears throat> So tonight, guys. Tonight we're, we're doing, doing the show. We're doing the show at Bray Improv. You're coming. Sold out. Sold out. Right. And you guys are going to be in for a treat because we have a brand new talent going up on stage. Yeah, you're saying and, it like they're going to listen to it now. This will come out at, way after the show already I know, happens. but anyway, it doesn't matter because what I want to do is uh, I want to, because she couldn't sleep last night, <laughs> J- Jules. Why? Be- I was scared. She's scared because she has to do... 30 seconds on stage. You're having nightmares? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, dude. It's fine. You're not going to do... You don't have to do... Actually, but Kalila fought me on it. She said only one minute. And I said, you said three. I said three minutes. Okay, so he said three, so you got to do three. We made a deal. One minute. <laughs> okay. Raising your voice. It does, it's Not rude, the answer. And, and also, it makes, <laughs> me, the ma- it makes me angry. You're going to piss off the papa. So here, I think that we should do... This is what I want. Mm-hmm. And let's write it down. Do you have a thing? Yeah, you bring it up. Down? Bring up the script. Yeah. Bring it up so we can write a script. We want to write a script. I don't know why it's on this. <clears throat> Where's Andreas? <laughs> you, uh, he's, your brother stole him. Speaking of which, your brother and the other guy from Jer, Jer. Scissors, yeah. they were at your house. They were too, yeah. You know what Jeremiah brought to your house? Cookies. Chips Ahoy. Chips Ahoy. Yeah. It's and, so, and, Lay, almost, and Lay's potato I chips. I literally almost grabbed it and <laughs> threw it into the street. It's so rude. Lay's potato chips yeah. and cookies. We got it, Jeremiah. We got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You went to the 99 cent store. We so, get it. So um, I don't know who she's bringing up, but let's just suppose it's- um, Eleanor. Yeah, Annie. I think Annie. Annie. Right. So you're going to say round of applause. Round of applause. For Annie Letterman. For Annie Letterman. Can I say Ate Annie? Sure. Yeah, sure. That's Change fine. the script. God damn. That's fine. What are you, Bruce Willis? Jesus yeah. Christ. I want to say what I want to <laughs> say. Fine. Fine. <laughs> Round of applause for Ate go, Annie. Go, go, go back. You got to put Ate Annie. Doesn't know how to spell it and is nervous to f- do it wrong, but let's see what he does wrong. Auntie Annie. That's sure. fine. That's fine. Round of applause Take for Letterman Auntie Annie. Out. Auntie Annie. All right, so then you're going to say, uh, you now I also want you to put the in, in parentheses, right? Wait for applause. <laughs> because yeah. she, I don't want her to run the thing, <laughs> yeah. right? So you got to wait. So wait for how applause. many seconds do you think is a, is an applause? One thousand, two, one thousand, five, three, seconds. four, five. five. Yeah, five, five is seconds. Good. Five seconds. Okay. And but you have to wait the full five, even if they've already stopped clapping. Just sit in it for a minute. Yeah, you got to sit in it. So Let I have it. to count? Yeah, count into the mic. No, <laughs> I, I'll tell you this: if you go less than five seconds, I'm going to make you do it over again. You got to start all over, right? So you just count. Not not. Out loud, right? Sure, out loud. Yeah, is out loud's fine. fine. Yeah. One, one, one thousand, two, two one thousand, three, no! one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand. Yeah, say it out loud. But say it in, in into the mic. In, but say it in the mic and say it in your native tongue. Don't yeah, say it in yeah, English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you yeah. say thousand? Isang. They don't have. They don't count that high because nothing goes up that high. No, there is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I just forgot. Isang put. Sang put. Unsang put. Tung sang put. Tung sang put. Tung sang put. Four sang put. Five sang put. Yeah, do that. Right, do that. Sang puts. Yeah, so okay. one sang put, two sang put, three okay. sang put. All right. Many sang puts. All right. And then you got to say, because you have to say after that, you have to say, um, are you guys having a good time? Yeah. That's you, very important. Are you guys having a good time? You guys having a good time? So put that. And then write, this guy knows what I'm talking about. No. <laughs> to who? And you got to point, you got to pick you, you, you a guy. You got to point a guy in the audience. Point this guy, guy knows what I'm talking about. This guy about. knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> point at a guy. <laughs> and then here's what you say. You say, what do you do for a living? So after you point to the guy, you pick a guy <laughs> and you say, what do you do for a living? So you pick that guy and go, this guy knows what I'm talking about. What do, what you, do you do for, for a living? living? And he's gonna say now, something. Now, something. Now it can be one out of. It's not it very. It's the very. It's usually. It's not hard. He's gonna, it's if, one out of a thousand things. <laughs> yeah. Generally. <laughs> what if he doesn't talk? He will. He will. He oh, will. Th- oh, wait. Then that's what you say. Oh, we got a mute in the audience. Oh, we got a mute in the audience. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're loading you up with We're good loading stuff. Up. If he doesn't talk, you go. So oh, what do you got... do for a living? If he doesn't talk, right? And then say, if he, he doesn't talk, go. Oh, we got a mute. Oh, we in got the a audience. mute in the audience. And then you follow it up with something like. We used to call them. 
Uh, well, yeah, or, what's a what's a male Helen Keller? Listen here, Hank yeah. Keller. You know, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. Wait for oh, we got a mute in the mute audience. Wait what for the laugh. They don't laugh. They won't. What, they, but just still, still do the pause, <laughs> right? And that's the pause. gamble. That's the gamble. No. Yeah. Yes, we got a mute in the audience. I call it the uncomfortable zone. And then you can say you can say this now. After he, if let's say he does say his job, you know, yeah, if so he doesn't, say, say, if he doesn't, you say, oh, we got a mute. If he does say his job and his job is sales or yeah, yeah, I don't know. What do people do? How do what are jobs? <laughs> I don't know. Um, <laughs> no. uh, uh, insurance. The, insurance, yeah. Insurance. He says his job, and right away- he you goes, go, I'm an insurance salesman. Right. And what if, do you say? What do you say? Whatever you, now, this is great. You don't even have to read the script on this one. Right. You can just say whatever you want to say. So if I say whatever you, comes to I'm mind. an insurance, what do you say? Nice. Nice. <laughs> Put that down. Nice. And then wait for, that's you for sure, again. No, it's, no, it's me. <laughs> now you are doing the full time. Yeah, you're doing no! Nice. nice. Wait for laughter. Wait okay. For laughter. And then you say, um, then you say, then she's got to transition into something that's. No, like no. A, I think you should go now to. Um, oh, so you guys have a good time. This guy knows what I'm talking about. What do you do? For what do you a do for a living? Oh, we got a yeah. mute in the audience. Yeah. Or if he says his job, yeah. you just go nice. Anyway, you guys ready for more show? Are you guys ready for more show? I can't hear you. <laughs> you have to I do that. Hear I you. can't hear I you. I can't hear you. No matter what the response is. Doesn't matter if it's yeah. super loud. Even if they're all standing and crying, <laughs> mm -hmm. I can't hear you. In fact, you know what? Yeah. Why don't you guys stand up? No, 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 and no. And make no. some noise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or, you know, here's a good old school way. Let's do a wave. Let's do a wave. <laughs> Let's do a wave. Let's do a so wave. So what you do is, and you go, I'll start it. And you then, go, I start the, and you just get on your knee and you go up like this, right? <laughs> and in the front row, they'll all do it. And it'll go through the audience. Okay, so let's do a let's wave. Do a wave. Okay, then yeah. you do a wave. Then you do a wave. That takes about that'll take about a minute. Couple minutes, a minute, a minute or so. to a minute or so. Wait for audience to do a wave. And we're, we're already. Hey, look, look. I don't think they'll do a wave. They will. <laughs> yeah, they will. They will. If yeah. you do it. Oh, and when they do the wave, do this like you're surfing. Yeah. So you no. you start the wave, right? They do the wave, and you just do a surfing. Oh, thing. you know what's better? You know what's better? You know yeah. what's better? Yeah. You divide the room. Yeah. You know what? Then the you divide the room, and yeah. you go. This half, I want you to say bad, and that half, you say friends. So when I point, you go bad friends, ba and you can control it. You go yeah, yeah. bad friend. You can go bad bad friends friends bad friends bad friends. You, you can you, do that. You're gonna feel like a wizard. That could kill so much time. You know, Lord of the Rings, Saruman. That's what the kind of stuff he would do. You're gonna be casting spells over these people. Casting spells. You're going to be bibbity bobbity booping them with your hand going, bad friends, friends bad, bad friends, friends yeah. bad. And you can do it as much as, bad, 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 bad. And you yeah. build it up. And then when they get excited, then go, another wave. Another wave. Another wave. <laughs> Surf's up. <laughs> right? This is great. I can't <laughs> wait to see this. <laughs> and do the, yeah, do the fucking thing. Right? And, and then, then you bring up the next comic. That's us. Oh, that, it's a, bring up the next right, comic. So, um, and then this has got to be sincere. Yeah, you got to be honest. So, um... It gives me the utmost mm -hmm. pleasure, 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 and to uh, to bring up two significant role models. To, I mean, the arguably two, the two most important people. Yeah, in arguably, life. yeah. I'd say arguably about the two most most important people in my life. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, Look at her face. Don't smile. Yeah, don't, don't do don't, that. Don't do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't do that. You know, it gives me it gives me the, it gives me the utmost uh, pleasure. Pleasure. Arguably, <laughs> the two, two most. most Imagine being raised, yeah. Imagine being raised by wolves. By <laughs> yeah, that's us. No hyenas and wolves, or something yes. like two uh, different. Uh, 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 a, well, I'm a hyena. Yeah. Imagine being raised by an orangutan <laughs> and a panda. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, the two. Yeah. All right, arguably the most important people in my life. Imagine being raised by an orangutan and a panda. And G George, are you coming tonight? He can't. He's got a baby. Who's coming? Nobody. Because um, I, because Gilbert's, Gilbert, to Gilbert's coming. So tell oh. Gilbert to record her on stage. So we want to see if she does it right. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> she's got to be in the audience when she's on stage, and he'll be recording it. And she's gonna ha she's gonna bring this piece of paper on. And stage. And then you say, raised by an orangutan and a panda. Yeah. Comma my Tito's. My Tito's. Tito Bobby and Tito Andrew. Yeah. And, and that's, that's it. it. That's all you have to say. That's all you have to say. This is so simple. So simple. That's a lot. All right. So let's. Oh, you have to say it gives me the utmost pleasure to bring these next people to meet, bring these next comics to the stage, to bring these next comics to the stage. Yeah. 
arguably the most. They're, they're arguably the most, the two most important people in my life. Because it is an argument because Kalila is much more important. Yeah. They're arguably the two most important people in my life. Imagine me being raised by an orangutan and a panda, my Tito's, Tito Bobby Tito. Perfect. Perfect. So let's do a rehearsal. Let's do a little baby rehearsal little and baby then we'll, move, on the and then we'll move forward. That's all we want. A little all baby right. one for the pod. <laughs> Annie just got off. She just killed it. Killed it. Yeah, people love it. All right, here comes Rudy. She's on stage She's now. She's on Go. Round of applause for at the Annie. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. Are you guys having a good time? Yeah! yeah. This guy knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> yes, girl. I sure do! Yeah, yeah. What do you do for a living? I'm in insurance. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Great. You guys ready for more show? Yeah. yeah. I can't hear you. Yeah. Why don't you guys stand up and make some noise? <laughs> okay. Hey. Stand up. Woo. Oh, let's do a wave. Let's do a wave. <laughs> Good call. All in, right. In their minds, they're like, we've never done a wave at a comedy show. This <laughs> Fine. is unbelievable. We're going to do one. Yeah. Okay, I'll start. Yeah. <laughs> this is great. Whoa. Whoa. Nice. Yeah. Surf wave. Surf, surf wave. wave. Surf wave. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay. I'll divide the room. The right says bad and the left says friend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, go. No, you just point. Just okay. point. Bad. Friends. Bad. Friends. Bad. 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 Friends. Friends. Bad. Friends. Friends, bad. <laughs> okay. See, you'll love you're that. Right, love you'll that. love that. <laughs> right. And then the fine. And then when they do that, you then you go, surfs up. Surfs up. You have to you yell have to surfs, surfs up. up. It's, California. it's California. This is what they do. This is so so Cal. Southern California. This is so so Cal. Surfs up. Yeah. Surfs up. Now, now, <laughs> now, now it's gonna Hone be it it's in. gonna be chaos. Nuts. And and we need a shift in energy here mm -hmm. from you. So did I say quiet? Yes. Yes. Right as loud down. as you can. Quiet. Quiet. So instead, instead of surfs quiet. up. Instead of surfs up. Get rid of that. Get, get rid of surfs up. And you, you just go like this. Good. Quiet. <laughs> quiet. As loud as you can and, and cross your arms. Quiet. Yeah, quiet. Right. So say that. Scream it. Scream it. Okay. And quiet. Nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Give it to me now. End it strong. It gives me the. Utmost pleasure to bring these next comics to the stage. Yep. They're arguably the most important people in my life. Mm -hmm. Imagine being raised by an orangutan mm -hmm. and a panda. Yes. <laughs> my Titos, Tito Bobby, and Tito Andrew. Dude, that, that right I can't wait to see that. We, you know, I'm scared because she might we crush have way to harder follow than us. that. Yeah, it's going to be tough to follow. <laughs> It's going to be tough to follow. Oh, my. We have to follow that. But but let me tell you something. She'll set us up to win. Maybe. So um, and also you could just bring the piece of paper on stage. Yeah, I want to bring it. <clears throat> you can. You can you bring can, it on yeah, stage. Yeah. We print that out, George. By the way. And also what? You know what I watched last night? You loved it. Brought me to my knees. What is it? Sweet Tooth. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Are you being sarcastic? I'm being dead serious. Okay. I love sweet tooth. Do you like seaweed? Oh, what? You like <laughs> Do I like seaweed? You like seaweed? I love sweet tooth. Do you like it though? Did you watch Sweet Tooth? Yeah. Yeah. What it, what did you like about it? It just moved. You saw all of it. Yeah. Yeah. It moved me. I don't want to give any stories yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. If you haven't seen this people at home watch Sweet Tooth, it's so so good. It's well shot. Uh, it's beautiful. It's stunning. The I mean, colors in it is beautiful. Stunning. It's stunning. Yeah. But dude, <clears throat> The sto the doctor. I don't want to get into yeah, the story. Yeah, the, you great can't. actor. Oh my! The, him and the, the, his wife. Oh amazing at acting. Oh my god! Yeah. Even the. It's, you, it's, look at. I'll show this to you. The audience yeah, can't yeah. see it. Look at my. Look at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, she yeah, knows. Yeah, yeah. We know what that is. It's it, uh, dude. Yeah. One of the best shows I've seen in years. By you doing that, I know that you saw it. I know. That's yeah, because that's, that's very a subtle thing. Yeah, people are going to see that at home on you on YouTube. I'm telling you though, it was. It was so good. I don't even know how to explain how. I liked Will Forte in it. So good. I really liked him in it. I love him, dude. What I love mean? him. He's Last great. Man on Earth yeah, was great. great. Yeah, he he makes a lot of great shit. He does. Like he always makes shit. the right choices. I know. Yeah. He's Why can't great. we do that? We will. We'll start. Yeah. We'll start. We just need to go be on SNL and then get but, off and then do it again. 
Babbel. This summer, get the most out of your travels abroad by learning the language of your destination with Babbel, the number one selling language learning app. From ordering in restaurants or asking for directions to gaining a deeper understanding of the culture, Babbel makes the whole process of learning and a new language addictively fun and easy. With bite-sized lessons you can actually use in the real world, Babbel is a can't-miss travel essential, Andrew. I agree, man. They're 15-minute lessons that make a perfect way to learn language on the go. I've used it. Uh, I do like it. I'm not a smart person, and it's very easy to use. Um, the other language apps that you've seen before, they use AI for the lesson plans. Babbel, on the other hand, they were created by over 100 language experts, the real smart people. Plus, Babbel's speech recognition technology helps you improve your pronunciation and accent so you can sound like a local baby. Yeah. I'm learning it's Italian like, and I can't wait. It's just like way, the way people talk in their country yeah. is why I like Babbel. Yeah, it's real, man. And it's right real. now, you can save 65% <laughs> off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash badfriends. That's babbel.com slash badfriends for up to 65% off your subscription. Babbel. Language for life. Yeah, buddy. Hello, Hello Tushy. Tushy. So at my 4th of July party. Yeah. Um, I blew your toilet up. I know you did, but Andrew and not Andrew, uh, Annie Letterman's boyfriend, mm-hmm. Todd, yeah, went to the bathroom and he goes. He walked out with a smile on his face, <laughs> and he, I go, "What's the matter?" He goes, "My butthole feels so clean right First now." First time, and tushy. I go, tushy, baby, dude, the tush. Hello, tushy. It's so baby. funny when people never use it and they come over to the house and they're like, "Dude, I've." I've never done one of those. And you're yeah. like, welcome to the real world. Keep your sweaty crack clean, man, this summer with the brand new Hello Tushy 3.0 modern bidet attachment. It's an attachment. You don't got to do anything. You're going to buy an expensive toilet. It just hooks onto the one you got. It's Hello stylish. Tushy 3.0 cleans his soggy butts like a champ. It does. But it doesn't stop there. It cleans itself Come on. with the Smart Spray automatic self-cleaning nozzle. Come on, man. It's going to get hotter. It's going to get stickier. It's going to get grosser. And uh, the Hello Tushy bidet attaches to your existing toilet. No electricity. No extra plumbing needed. It's so simple. We both have them at the house. We have them here at the studio, uh, which I love using sometimes before Bob comes. You already got a Hello Tushy on the pot. Treat your ass to the new 3.0 model. If you're new to the revolution, join millions of happy Hello Tushy customers right now. Have a clean butt with every flush. Defeat swamp ass. Go to hellotushy.com <laughs> slash badfriends to get 10% off plus free shipping. That's right. Get rid of that swamp ass. It's a special offer for our listeners only at hellotushy.com slash badfriends for 10% off. Somebody sent me after we did the app two weeks ago about what's her name using Korean baby foreskin. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, look this up. This is insane. This is a real website someone sent to me. It's called bloodstainedmen.com. Do you know what this is? (laughs) There is a movement, bloodstainedmen.com, to warn the American people that circumcision is cruel, worthless, and destructive. So these guys go around with bloodstains over their wieners and they're fighting against circumcision. They go protest circumcision all over the world. So that these are the guys with the with the top still on. These guys these guys <laughs> these guys have the sleeve. They have the top still. They, they got have the hat. The, they have the hat. They have the sleeve. They have the yeah, hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they have a hat. And you you you're hatless. I have a helmet. Yeah, mine's a helmet. I have a helmet. Yeah, I just have the head. Right. Right. So they have, but a they have tur- the skin over the head. They have a turtleneck. I don't like it. They have turtlenecks. Just based on looks alone, I don't like it. It looks strange. Gilbert he has a turtleneck. Has a turtleneck. Did you know that? Yeah. <laughs> but he's also Asian. Now, I'm not doing a, I'm not doing an Asian small dick. I'm not doing, doing, a bit. I'm not not doing, doing a... Asian small dick joke. That being said. That being said. Doesn't help. It doesn't help. Does especially it... when so especially when the skin is a lot and the dick is small. <laughs> <laughs> right? So in his case, it hangs right, over. Yeah, it's like, you know, it it, it the skin has completely Enveloped, oh, engulfs the, engulfed mm, the dick at itself, it's right? So, so weird. it just looks like a little ball, like it's tied off at the end a little yeah, bit too, yeah, like yeah. a knot. Yeah, it's like you know what? You know what it's, it's like <laughs> one of those shumai dumplings. Oh, I love shumai. I dumplings. love it to, to eat, but <laughs> to look at as, as a penis to fuck with, no, thank you. And he pulls his wiener on and he goes shumai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These guys are trying to warn the world to provide uh, people with information to help protect their children. So these guys literally go around protesting. But what are the? I, I don't know the positives of keeping it on. Well, they say, well, they'll tell you, they'll tell you, dude. Okay. Should we have these guys come on the show? No, we should. I don't. Come on. I don't want to meet them. I want to meet them. Because it, there's nothing I can do about it. I already got it's the over. offer. But it's over. They're trying to convince you not to do it to your kids. That's their whole point. If I have it, my kids have it. Right. Then my kids are going to have extra pleasure. But I bet that's an American thing. You know that? They don't in Europe. <laughs> what about in the Philippines? Most boys get circumcised, don't they? Yeah. See, that's weird. In Europe, they don't. In Europe, they all have sleeves. Really? All my British friends have sleeves. They don't get clipped. 
What about you guys? Are you guys clipped or sleeves? You got sleeves or you got helmets? Oh, clipped for so, sure. So he's got he's got a helmet. Well, you peep peep clipped. sleeve, right? No, clipped. Oh, clipped. Okay, yeah, sleeveless. Yeah. He's going sleeveless. He got angry. Clipped. <laughs> Is your, did you guys wait a minute? Did you clip your kids? No. Whoa. Pete, so your kid has a Pete, sleeve? Pete, Pete. Your kid has a sleeve? He does. Whoa. Why? Your wife, huh? Your wife said she wanted to keep it? Because a lot of times the women want to keep it. Yeah, my wife's European. See? The Europeans, they keep, uh, they leave the sleeve. They leave the sleeve. So what did she say to you, Pete? Was it a conversation for real? No, I didn't want to circumcise him either. Why not? Because his wife didn't want to. I mean, come on, Pete. Come on, Pete. <laughs> Have an opinion. Yeah, seriously. Stand up for yourself. What a fucking coward. I didn't want one either. What is it, Steve? Steve? Sleeve? Pete? Pete? Pete Sleeve? Pete Sleeve? Your new name is Sleeve. 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 What is it? What is it? Why? Why Why we didn't circumcise him? Yes, Pete. No, that's yeah, what we're shit. talking about. <laughs> no. God, I miss Andres. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. Why did the em No, why did the emperor die in the, you know what I mean, in Return of the Jedi? I, yeah. Come yeah, on, Pete. It was man. evil. Why, Pete? Why did you? Because you're. Yeah, we don't want to. We didn't want to cut him. You know, we just. We just that's not. Uh, so let me provide a real argument because Pete really can't come up with any. Well, you can't come. So up what with they say is you lose it. sensation when you keep your sleeve, you get more sensation. The reason that we used to do that was hygiene because people didn't. Uh, what is that? What are those? I don't know. It's just black. Schmutz. Schmutz on the. Um, I don't know what it is. It looks like poop. Yeah, it's like little rabbit poop. Well, maybe you have a little rat in here. <laughs> is that rat poop? Do we have? Oh well, don't. Yeah, it's rat poop. Do we have a rat? Yeah. Well, don't flick it towards me. Well, why is it on my side? <laughs> because it knows where it, it knows where it belongs. <laughs> it smelled my desk and was like, nah, it's been over by you. Oh, gross. Okay. So go anyway, on. we got rats. Um, no, so they say it takes away feeling. So, you, it, so like when you clip, you lose sensation. So they say, and they also say that hygiene. Uh, that's why they did it, so you don't have to, you know, clean it as much. You yeah. don't have to clean. But they say now with technology and all that stuff, it's not people aren't getting as infected as much. But also, it's supposed to protect you from STDs and all that stuff. And but does it? No, let's go. Back. That none of those other things matter except the feeling thing. They say the feeling is way way stronger. So it's like then let's go. Let's focus on the feeling. Right? Well, that's what the, the one cell is. So let me. So what I get when I orgasm? Mm. Hmm. I want to hear kind of. <laughs> do you? Do you? Not really, but I do. The fans want to hear. Yeah, let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. Not a noise, but is there a face that you make? When I orgasm? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what it is. Oh, yeah. I go like this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's real subtle. It's not subtle. It's so racist. It's not racist. It's overtly racist. No, it's not. It's not subtle. That has nothing to it's do with race. Uh, overtly racist. No, I'm, I just get really, I really get squished. It's like, oh. if, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> anyone that does that, the the president of the United States, his for opening like, oh. That's me orgasm. It's, it's, no. That's me orgasm. It's overtly racist. That's me orgasm. Canceled. That's not racist. Yeah. Why would it be have anything to do with race? You ask what my face is, and I go, "Ooh, that's what I do." It's like if I orgasm, I do a white thing. Hey, buddy. That's so funny if <laughs> yeah, you did that. I come, hey, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> yeah, or whatever. <laughs> white collar crimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A yacht. Yeah. No, so. this. That's my face. I go. No, my face is this. My face is. Uh -huh. What? What's my face? No, be real. No, be real about I it. I don't know what I look yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, you got to be real. You don't do any of that shit. You, you, what do you with do? With your wife? Okay, let's be real right? then. You yeah, know what yeah, it really uh, is? Yeah, it's this. Yeah, that's it. It's real. Subtle. That's it. Very good. What's yours? I believe that. What's yours? Let me think. <sighs> oh, gross! <laughs> God, it's gross. <laughs> because you look at your try. <sighs> yeah, no, I'm just because it builds. It's not like a moment. Of... Mine's There's a moment. Feeling hits me out of nowhere. There's like a. 10 second feeling that builds. So it's <laughs> it's more like. <laughs> Jules, this is terrible. She doesn't need to see this. No, I just. I won't do that. I'll just do my face, right? Yeah, don't do your hands. Yeah, I won't do my. There it is. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, that's good. It, it's pretty good, right? That's good. That <laughs> actually looks very realistic. <laughs> Thank you. I would believe that in a sex scene. Thank you. Have you ever done a sex scene? No. You know who else hasn't? They're never going to write They're us. not going to write us in a sex scene. They'll never write us in a sex scene. Nope, nobody wants to see an Asian. Even when I was in Splitting Up Together, there was a scene where we were in bed. Yeah. Right? And, I mean, 
Redheads no, and Asians don't get a lot of no sex scenes. No offense, but like, I think Lindsay had a thing where, because she played my wife. Yeah. Where we're just laying in bed and she just has her arm like on me. Uh huh. And the director just went, and took the arm off. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. Really? It just it feel, it looks weird. Oh, that's so sad. And I'm like, what? So we're just best friends? <laughs> He's like you're married, but nobody wants to see that. You know, I had to. I had to. I've never been a part. Of, you know, I, I don't had, know if that happened or not. I've had. Ma- I've masturbated on camera in a sex scene, like in a. I'm alone in my room. Yeah, that that doesn't count. I know it's sad. They don't want me on. Se- the only other time. Well, this was funny. When we were shooting. I'm dying up here. I, I think I maybe told this story, but there was a sex scene going on, and I have to come in the room and say a joke. Yeah. Meanwhile, my buddy Jake's butthole is right in my eye line. Yeah. His butthole. His real butthole. Yeah. Because you're wearing a merkin. You know, yeah, on no, the front? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, the thread goes through his butthole. Yeah. So I see his butthole. Yeah. And I have to walk in the room and say something like, you know, we're going to be late. Something like that. Yeah. Were you laughing? Every time. You laughed every it time. It was so hard because I yeah. I see his nuts. <clears throat> I see his nuts hanging and I'm looking right into his butthole. Yeah, but it, you know, it's different. And it's one of my close friends. But when you're shooting, it's so funny <laughs> because when you're shooting a scene. Yeah. Because when I did The Cabin with Brooke Kreischer and he was bent over. So he was bent over. We're doing a colonoscopy, mm-hmm. right? And he's like, stick it in, right? So I stick it in, and his sacks. Huge. Huge. Massive Like nuts. fucking bear sacks, yeah. right? <laughs> his asshole is like three layers of purple. It's like per- mounds. It's real tight. It's like, it, it, what, I'll tell you what it looked like, his asshole looked like. You put a donut down, mm-hmm. and you put a smaller donut on top of that. I see it. And a smaller donut on top of that. I love it. Yeah, yeah. And that was kind of sticking out. That That's, was coming this way to you? Yeah, it oh. doesn't go, how would I know it goes inward? No, it was going outward, <laughs> right? So it sat, and there was a little mole right in the entranceway. Oh, yeah, I mean, you should get that checked It probably out. has a little sign that says, like, inside the mole, do not enter, or whatever it might. <laughs> so it's like, and then, like, and I'm doing this thing with, I'm sticking the tube in his asshole, and I see my friends, everything about him, Ugh. everything. And, but you're like, you know the camera's on you. You're in the scene. So you're just trying to. <laughs> like it's normal, but it's horrifying. Have you ever done one of those colonics or whatever they're called? Oh yeah, you have. We should do and one. And they had uh, the the tube next to you. To they see, show you. They show you what goes, what's going out. I can't. Like, have you ever done one of those? A colonic? Would you ever do one? No. Why not? You have to do one. You, you they're good Why? for you. You get colon cancer. You can get colon cancer. How many pounds of undigested food are in the average human stomach? I read something one time that was like six pounds of like undigested shit is just hanging out in your colon. Oh, shit. Like, did you lose weight after you did it? I'm going to have to get one. I know, because... Uh, What's wrong? Tacos? No, I went to the... Our, one product claims that anywhere from 6 to 40 pounds of waste, feces, and undigested food stuck in our bodies. See, 6 sounded what I've heard. 40 sounds insane. Dude. Another one co- uh, compares the weight of the waste to carrying a, a bowling ball in our gut. I went to Self Edge to get Jean Saturday, and I go... She goes, okay, what size? I go... Normal, you know, thirty-two inch waist. No, oh, you told me this at the barbecue. Yeah, I got thirty-two. Sad. Yeah, thirty-two inch, and I literally got one foot in in the w- actual opening <laughs> in the waist. In the was- waist opening, I got one foot. I go, what's going on here? Right, you're 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 thirty. I'm a thirty-seven almost. Seven. That's big. It's big. It's gotten a little big. You know, but it, you don't it, look like you gained any weight because my legs don't show it. But your tum tum. It's my tummy. It's like it's mm. just the body. But you have bottom. a really cute tummy. I don't think so. I think it's more like even my stand brother, up and show the camera. Even my brother went to the spa last week mm-hmm. for the first time, and my brother saw my body and he went. He literally went like you know, normally he would make fun of me, like, you fatty. But it he made went, him he sad. Goes, he goes, "You're mm-hmm. gonna die, man." Let me see your stomach. Let me see. It's so sad. Let me see. I'm gonna. This, this is real. I know. I'm looking. Okay, this is real. All right. Yeah, sideways. Yeah, it's yeah. What do you think, Jules? It's big. Yeah, is it bigger than it used to be? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Let, let, wait, but let me see the. Let me see. Turn. Keep turning a little bit. Yeah. We gotta get it on. We gotta do a diet. We gotta let's do a diet together. Do you want to do a diet or something? We should do no, it. I told I told Janina the Javon Carr the girl, girl I was in um, Hungary with. Yeah. I go. Do you need, you know nutritionist? You know, every time I ask people nutritionists, they always go, you're not going to follow it. That's not true. Yeah, you will. I will follow it. What's your breakfast like to this morning? Well, you don't eat breakfast in the morning. Jersey Mike's. Okay. You, you woke up and had Jersey Mike's? Yeah. What are we talking? Six, six a regular. inch? Twelve. Full. Not 12. It's 12 inches, isn't it? It is. It's got to be a foot long, isn't it? 
don't know. No, it's it's a regular. It's like it's not foot. It's half a foot. What is a Jersey Mike sub uh, length? <laughs> we gotta. What did you have on it? Let's just go down what your diet is. Okay. Okay. Then we'll be able to break down the easiest way to get rid of it. Okay. So what's an average Jersey Mike sub? How look it up, Pete. What um what did you have on the sub? I ha- I get the number two. The number two is the turkey provolone. Yes. That's healthy. No, 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 it's um not turkey provolone. It's um Oh, three five seven. Yeah. So you had a seven, seven inch. inch is a regular. That's what I get. That's fine. Okay. Oh wait, no, no, no. And fourteen to fifteen is the giant. Yeah, but I don't get the giant. No. Swear to God. Ever? Ever. Okay, good. So, All right, so uh, what's the two? So what I'll get is, but I'll add um, jalapenos, avocados. Safe, safe. Those right. Both okay. And I'll add, I do it Mike's way because I love it when he does that way. Wait, right. Oh my God. Then I get a bag of potato chips. Which ones? The Lay's regular. That's not that bad. And then I'll get a Diet Coke. That's what I get. That's what I had today. So, so, but the number two is a, it's the Italian, right? Yeah. So it's a cold cuts. It's a cold cuts. Yeah. Mm. So I had that, and then um, then I won't eat. Look into- at the calorie menu on Jersey Mike's, please. Then I won't eat until tonight. Yeah, but you're better off eating smaller meals during the day than eating two massive meals. It's harder on your body. So why don't you eat four meals but tiny ones? Jersey Mike's, uh, so what are we talking? Number two. I just need, bro, bro, bro. I just need somebody to go. White bread or wheat bread? White, of course. Oh, no. What? That's 2,000 milligrams of sodium? Yeah. Holy shit. That's a lot. That's a lot of salt. Because yeah. the Mike's way? Yeah. So we're t- it's it's so it's eight hundred calories for that. That's not that bad, I think. I just this can I just tell you what I need? What do you need, baby? I need somebody to go. This like like I'm in prison. Mm-hmm. This is it. And this is all you can no eat. No op- option. Well, why can't we do that, Rudy? Can you do prison meals for and, him? And I'm like, he's gonna yell at me. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's probably pretty valid. And so then, that's all I need. If I could get that. These are your three meals. There's nothing you can do about it. Look up it. that company. Is there a company called Prison Meal Plan that we can... <laughs> I would love to do a company called Prison Meal Plan where a guy comes to your house and he goes, eat it! Yeah. You're like, I want more. He's like, no! Go to bed, bitch! Yeah, yeah. I need that. Prison meals. Let's or, get... or how about this? How about, can I go to a place mm-hmm. for at least like a week or on two weeks? I don't want that, man. Let's get him a prison menu, though. That's what you should be eating. A package of bologna? No, no, because they don't give it that health. I want something healthy. Okay, but healthy is going to be veggies. That's okay. And protein. I don't care. That's it. I need somebody to go, this is what you're going to eat. Mm-hmm. This is going to be good for How you. How come Kalila's in such good shape? Because she exercises and eats. She doesn't eat what I eat. Okay, but you're not going to exercise, so can you- I am going to exercise. I have exercised before. I saw the Peloton. Yeah, I just, I just need somebody. How many times? Have I you just been... need somebody. Just listen, man. I just I'm fucking panicking. I just need somebody yeah. to go. This is you're gonna what you're gonna eat. I think I need to go to a an institution or something, <laughs> like a like... a place where I'm gonna wake up just for like a week, like two fat weeks, fat rehab. Yeah, and go. This is what you're eating, right? Yeah. You can't smoke. You can't do anything. Okay. And no no gadgets. No phones. No, no phones. IPad? Nothing. What are you gonna for be doing? Two weeks. Just working out the whole time. I'll write. You won't. I will. Okay. I want to see that. I yeah, want but that. Is there a place? And anyone out there listening right now, get me that place. Get is there fat rehab, weight loss it's not rehab? Fat rehab. It's just I just need a place where I can go. Residential there- weight loss treatment. The first one. Go down. Go down. Residential weight loss treatment. Positive alternative. This is great. You're going to a fat camp. Yeah, yeah. Structure house. Structure house. Yeah. Best residential weight loss and wellness program. We're going to this. Okay. Please look into this, George. Will you go with me though. One hundred percent. You'll check in. I swear to God, I'll check in. For how long? For the show. Oh, for how long? How long do we do it? Uh, how long does it have to be? Live in weight loss pro personal coaching, diet, nutrition, behavioral therapy, fitness and exercise. Is there flexibility? Click on that one because I'd love to know. Yes. Look at that. You can stay. What does that say? Day structure package. You could go for a day. Just check in and check out. This. Oh, it's four weeks. It's one month. Interested in a stay longer than four weeks? So most people go for four weeks. Look at the day structure package, please. Can you click on that link? Four weeks. Yeah, a month is way too long. I'm I got shit to do. Yeah, I'm busy. <laughs> who is it? Okay, for those who live locally seeking benefits, so you can show up, do it, and go home. Well, really? Where is it at? Where is this at, dude? Let's let's find out. Look at the area code. It's like Hawaii or something. Where? What is 855? it? Eight five five. No, eight five five is like an eight hundred number. Oh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> 717-1804. Let me find out. 717-1804. Let me call and find out to see 
what they can pro oh look at that look where is that oh dude that's on that's north carolina this is in north carolina thank you for calling no Th this is in durham we need to do this you need to get this uh this dude, kind of we asked for a place in california you brought me fucking north carolina Pete! man. go back uh click back on that page god Pete. damn it man <laughs> Man, we're I'm, trying to save my life here, man. Miss Andres, like North crazy. Carolina's nice. North Carolina is nice. Thank you, Pete. That's true. Thank you, Pete. <laughs> movement. movement. Hey, what time is it? MVMT time. MVMT baby. time, movement. baby. It's pronounced movement. Look, you guys, you got no. I'll look to me. No, you look. Okay, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. So, um, <laughs> I I never wear watches, but when I go out to like a special event, I have movement watches, mm -hmm. and I and I select them, and I select the most stylish one. Yeah, and I go out. And it's the best watch out well, there look, because they, it's, it's the prices are good and they're stylistic. They're they're super well priced, which I think because as a watch guy, I like collecting watches. Yeah, um, they're made by two Southern California college dropouts, and they made a watch company with fair prices and cool colors, and they look different and they don't look cheap. I don't. My biggest pet peeve is when watches look like chunky and cheap. Mm. I like their styles a lot, and they um they they have the quality of like a you know four hundred five hundred dollar watch, um. And it's a fraction of that price, which yeah. I think is incredible. And it's shipped right to your door for free. And if you don't like them, you give it right back. And they they have so many different styles is what they, I like. They ship it right to your door. It's free. Yep. And if you don't love it, you can ship it right back for free. I've been rocking the Minimal Sport Dive Watch, and it's uh, very sleek, very cool. I actually like to uh, to use it when I am running, uh, and it's all good with sweat because I'd be sweating. It's very sleek. It looks professional. Yeah, and the uh, the Everscroll blue light filtering glasses are a game changer. They got these blue light glasses and it helps with eye strain, poor sleeping patterns. They they have so many modern styles of of products on their website. It's uh it's pretty impressive. You got to check these dudes out, Southern California folk. Uh, and if you want to elevate your look with style that doesn't break the bank, then Join the movement, baby. Get 15% off today with free shipping and free returns by going to mvmt.com slash bad friends. Again, that's mvmt.com slash bad friends. Yeah, buddy. Butcher, Butcher box. box. Slice it up, baby. I love, I love the meat. Delicious you know, meat. In my freezer, I've got um, the only meat is from Butcher Box. No, me too, actually. I've got, I, 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 I think so I have 12 meat. pounds of meat from them. Yeah. Uh, they have options like 100% grass fed beef, free range organic chicken. Humanely raised pork, wild caught lobster tails, wild caught Alaskan salmon, and sugar and nitrate free bacon. Each box ships with nine to eleven pounds of meat. So much packed fresh, shipped frozen, and vacuum sealed, making it simple to store in the freezer. And you can grab it later for a delicious meal with friends. Yeah, so I liked it because I got the uh, the patties, the pre the pre um, pre packed ground beef patties to make some boigas on my flat top and let Santino tell you. I like this. Dude, as a meat eater, I do love it because then all I have to do is get uh, a farm fresh veggies delivery with this and you got tons of meat in your freezer ready to rock and roll. And it's actually, look, it's real good meat. Uh, it is. It's really good meat because sometimes you get frozen stuff and I'm like, oh, this isn't good. It actually is delicious and it's high quality stuff. Luckily, today's sponsor, ButcherBox, wants to celebrate you this summer. Right now, ButcherBox is offering new members two free lobster tails and two free ribeyes in your first box. You can get your high-quality surf and turf on with your friends or enjoy it all by yourself. Tell them what they need to do, Andrew. All you got to do is uh, sign up and choose your box delivery and frequency. They offer four curated box options and a custom box that lets you choose your favorite cuts. Put your box, ships your order, frozen at its peak freshness, packed in an eco-friendly, 100% recyclable box. You enjoy the high-quality meat delivered to your door. And more time for amazing meals together, man. Butcher Box is offering our listeners two five-ounce lobster tails, like Bob said, two 10-ounce ribeyes for free in your first box. You can only get this special deal when you sign up for new membership at butcherbox.com slash bad friends. Bob? Butcherbox.com slash bad friends for free lobster tails and ribeyes in your first box. Yum. Can I tell you something that I've been I've seen twice already mm -hmm. on, on HBO? Yeah. Tragedy! What is tragedy? I don't know what that is. If you got down when I don't want to do my walk, I'm a flyest man. Don't time to talk. We can do it. Who's that? Around it tonight. All night. It's okay. You don't let the other way. I can't do it. You remember? You don't know that? You know who that is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's that? Stay alive. Stay alive. Who's that? The Bee Gees. The Bee Gees, yeah. They have a documentary. They do? Yeah, and I've been watching it. Look at I saw it twice already. I saw it by myself. It's that good? I don't know. Uh, here's what I like about it. Were they gay? No, man. 
What? They're not gay, man. Barry Gibb. Yeah, he's not gay. He's got like 52 kids. Well, oh, you can ha- you can have kids and not he's be gay. He's had the same wife the whole time. He's still he's the only Gibbs brother that's alive still. You can't just say that he's gay. I didn't say I asked. I said, is he gay? <laughs> no, he's not gay at all. Well, he looked. That picture he looks had, gay. He had gay teeth. <laughs> that's the only thing gay about. There's their teeth. Does Barry just say? Does Barry Gibb have gay teeth? Wait, what does it say? Is he gay? What does anybody say? No. No, he's not gay. I didn't right. know. Right, I so- thought. Does he have gay teeth? Yeah. Well, look at that middle picture, the white one, the white in the white. Yeah. Look at how sexy he is, though. Yeah. I say that as a man who might, he could coerce me. Yeah, so Barry- Does that would... guy look gay, Rudy? A little. Thank you. It's the time period, Rudy. It's fucking the 70s, and it was the disco Everybody era. was kind of gay. Everyone was gay then. Yeah, they right? were. I'm telling you right now, if- That's not a gay photo of three gay men? No, it's not. That's not outside the Abbey. They're fucking performing, dude. That's not outside the Abbey? What do you think they should be wearing? Paul Bunyan gear? Well, first of all, does he have a camel toe? Look in the middle. Look at how split- That's Robin Gibb. How dare you? Look at his camel toe. Yeah, he does Is have a camel toe. Is his penis up and away? It looks that, like no, it's no, up dude, and dude, away. No, 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 dude, 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 dude. Look. That's Balls. 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 His dick is Yeah, it's up and away. It's up and away. It's up, up, and away. Do you know why? Why? They just killed it on stage. And he's just, he, he rocks You've with a never got an erection when you were on stage? No. <laughs> oh, I get it all the time. No, you oh, don't. Oh, I do. But no one can tell? No, they can't. T- oh, no, they can't. I have it like that. I have it st- Pitch a little tucked on my tent. belly. It's up this and way. away. Up and away, yeah. The guy on the right looks like it's a photoshopped head. Okay. Well, the guy on the right is Rory Scovel. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so you watch a documentary about so the Bee So I'll tell you what I like about them. I don't like disco. I mean, you're so ignorant, dude. Oh, what's ignorant? Disco died. It went and went. So it obviously I wasn't know, worth can it. I, can I tell you what you like about, about the, the Gibbs? Go ahead. All right. So they were big in the '60s, right? And they they weren't a disco band. They were like a British band, right? They did harmonizing, and mm-hmm. they were brothers, and um, they made it right. They made it big in the late '60s in Britain and in the United States. Right, but were Huge. they famous there first? No, they actually blew up in both places at the same time. That's incredible. Right? So then what happened was um, they broke up because Robin Gibb and Barry Gibb, they they were it was, there was a power st- struggle. Has uh, like any brothers, right. uh, uh, oh, uh, Noel Gallagher, Liam, it's, uh, it's just tale as old as time. Right. And actually he's in, he's, he's in the documentary. Who, the Gallaghers? Yeah. But just which one? Noel, Noel Gallagher. Yeah. Liam's not in it. And also um, one of the Jonas Brothers is in it as well. That's a weird... That's a weird... Because uh... they're talking about being brothers I know. In, in show business. I know. So anyway, so what happened was they did their own thing and they were eating it on their own. So in the like, early 70s, they get, decided to get back together mm-hmm. and they put out two albums and now they're doing like shit rooms. Like they're playing like bar shows. No one's coming. <clears throat> 15 people It's are over, right? Sad. In fact, they would tell Robin, um, don't look, t- t- tell Robin not to look in the audience oh. because he would see what's half full. Right? Yeah. Right? So then what happened was Eric Clapton, who was signed by the same manager, did an album in Miami. Mm-hmm. And he just suggested to the boys, like, well, just come out here. You always record your albums in England. Come out here and record an album. And there's also an energy going on. You know, the Miami sound or whatever. And these guys went out there and they had one shot. One fucking shot. And they did it. And they changed their sound. Right, and that's what we call disco. Birth disco was but birth. It reinvented them, and it was an amazing. It's an amazing thing, achievement, because it's like most bands after the '60s when they die, they're gone forever. Mm-hmm. You know. Well, if you if you flop once, it's hard to come back. So hard, especially when you're known for one thing. Mm-hmm. But these fuckers re- reinvented themselves. It's really impressive. It is impressive. I just the music itself is never my. It's just not. I, I know, no but way. like I know, but what happened was because of people like you, white dudes like you, and it's so interesting that you. These say are that. white people, by the way. No, I, I, they're they're ours. They're, no, they're whites. Not. No, they're, they're not. The Gibbs, they no. couldn't be more white. They're Nordic. That's us. That's the most white. Up north is white, white. Oh, that's true. Yeah, these are the these are like the Viking people. But there's, t- 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 be honest though, mm. there's two different kinds of whites. Sure. Right. You what, have which one am I? The, the ones, the, the hardcore ones. Oh, I'm white. No, you're white. like working class white. Right. Trash. Right? Garbage. You can say it. Yeah. <laughs> right. Trash. White. But then you have like Liberace. Fan- white. Fancy white. White. You have Liberace. Right. You have the um, Siegfried and Roy. 
fancy. Fancy. Gay. Fancy no, gay. No, they're gay. Yeah. Don't they throw out gay. They're gay. Why? Because they like sparkles? Was Liberace gay? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they like sparkles and they like tigers. Gay. And lions. Gay. And, they to, and when they die, they have to wear them <laughs> as well, right? I know. Right? So- Look at here. They, they they like to grow their hair like fancy. lions. Fancy. Right. So they're fancy. They're fancy. So what I'm saying is it, when the disco disco was huge, mm-hmm. there was a guy in Chicago, right, <laughs> much mm-hmm. like you. Yeah, me. Who started this disco sucks movement. Which I couldn't agree with more. Right. Yeah. So he had all these people come out to Wrigley's- Wrigley the, Field. Wrigley Field. Yeah. Bring all your disco church. albums. We call it church. Yeah, disco albums. Mm-hmm. Put it in the middle of Wrigley's field and burn and it. And we're gonna explode them in a bomb, dude. That guy's the best. Who's that guy? Look up the disco sucks guy, dude. That that's guy- you. Yeah, it is. And we were when we were watching the documentary, we both at the same time go when we he popped up on the screen. You and Kalila. We went Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> I want to play this guy if they make a scripted version of this disco demolition night. Yeah. And, oh my god, at Comiskey Park, a wrong yeah, stadium. A, oh, sorry, I didn't know. Wow, dude. And yeah. they brought their records and burned them at Comiskey. July 12th, 1979 at Comiskey Park, which is where the White Sox used to play. They turned away 15,000 people. That's how many people so meanwhile, hate disco. 15,000 people with albums. Can we get in? <laughs> that's how much they hated it. Dude, that's incredible. And yeah. by, by the way, who's the name? It says it right there, doesn't it? The playing in the field was damaged that the fans of the White Sox were required to forfeit the second game to the Tigers because it was a double header. That's the guy, Steve Dahl's an American that's radio him. personality. He's the owner operator of Steve Dahl Network. And... Uh, He's the one that was campaigning this. He's a Chicago shock jock guy. Yeah, yeah. Come on and bring your records down to Comiskey this weekend. No, back then, We're he, 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 he looked like him. a punk rocker. Back then in the yeah, 70s, he was, he was like- hardcore. A fatter with a green, you know. Still pretty fat. That's true. So this guy made you bring him down. And so admission was discounted at 98 cents but look to the at, attendees. But who wins at the end of the day? They bought the records. The Bean Gees. The Bee Gees will forever be known for, they have like eight songs mm-hmm. that are just- Never gonna go away. Yeah, in our conscience. Yeah, no, right? it's no. She doesn't know who that is. They've gone away. It's our generation. No, We're you, done. you know who the Bee Gees are. I know their music, not them. Yeah, you, you know the music. You know that song. Yeah, yeah, but because in the Philippines, that's probably a hit no, now. Everyone fucking knows. They're probably in the streets. The Bee Gees. Going, that's probably their thing now <laughs> in the Philippines yeah, today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, how far behind are the Philippines in music? Well, they always say, like, Asia is a couple years behind, right? Like, a hit song out here is going to be late there. Not anymore, dude. The internet, bro. What the fuck are you talking no, about? No, that's true, because their culture, their pop culture music is bigger than They're our pop culture. They're creating our, their, their, their own pop culture now, fucking that. Some of them. No, all of them. No, K-pop is big, They're, but 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 not in Japan and not in China. They're still behind us. They are. Japan is not behind us in any way, As far as our music. In terms of film, music, music, and any of that. No, man. Our, hit, our hits here happen first, and then they get over there. So by the time they're burnt here, they start to get over there. That's just fact. That's just truth. Just- so what you're saying right now is they're, like some Japanese guys opening up a present from their parents, mm-hmm. and they go, Sublime album? Yes. <laughs> 40 ounces to freedom. <laughs> and they, yeah, they, that's what yes. you're saying. And they don't practice Santoria. That's yeah. the whole, then that's their whole life now. And they're like memorizing their fa- favorite new artist's name. Yeah. Billy Joe Armstrong. Billy Joe Armstrong. <laughs> so they doesn't, you know what I mean? So, so they remember so it. So it locks into their brain. Yeah, Grinde, Grinde. Billy Joe Dookie, Armstrong. Dookie, Dookie. Dookie. <laughs> do you know? Do you know Green Day? Do you know that band? God, that's so he just wrote weird. Me a letter. Billy Joe Armstrong yeah, wrote you a yeah, fucking letter. Well, he sent me coffee. Time out. What? Are you friends with him? Yeah. You are. Yeah. He, he, he did TB. He did no. The, he did the belly. I have a weird story with him. With Billy Joel Armstrong. Yeah, yeah. Please. Like, like, arguably, my so, so much of my influence well, when so I was in the did, band in high school. He did Matt TV, right? Oh, he was a guest. Yeah, he, his Green Day played Matt TV. Right. We would get like Marilyn Manson and Green Day to play Matt TV, right? Wow, yeah. And um, and that's where I learned. That's where I met like Ryan Reynolds. Or the, we had young actors as well that would mm-hmm. guest star or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. So um, that's where I met Billy. But then like Billy and I became, for some reason, Matt TV was like um. We're gonna send you out to the Grammys to me, for, to me, and you're gonna interview people on the red carpet. So That's I would, great. yeah. So in, I would like interview people at like you know the Emmys. That's awesome. Or the Grammys. Didn't and you the, like that? I hated it. Why, Bob? Because you're with the press, so it's like yeah, but they know I you're a be, comedian. I want to be. I want to be. No, 
At the time, no one knew who I was. Oh. So I want to be like on the red carpet, no. and I'm with 50,000 people with cameras and going, hey, 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 hey. You know what I mean? Like, it was terrible. Didn't they have a press person go, excuse me, we have a guy from Matt TV, a comedian, Yeah, Bobby no Lee. one would want to do it. Right. Yeah. Sorry. I said something. Give it. So hacky, and it Give makes it. me sweat <laughs> so much. I can't, I can't. Open. Please. Oh, my God. It make, it's so embarrassing. So what? We all have embarrassing shit. What was it? So, I, I, I'm and me and Nicole Parker are at the Emmys, mm -hmm. and no one will come. And then William H Macy, love right, decides to come right, and I go, I so, so um, how's the department stores? God. Did you really say that to William H Macy? How are the department stores? Do you even get that joke, Rudy? No. This department store is called Macy's. Do you know Macy's? Yeah. You know, Macy's. like Nordstrom's. Oh, his response was worse. Yeah, he probably said, go fuck yourself. No. You're a comedian? And he walked away. Oh, my God. Oh I my like God. that guy so much oh more. My oh, my God. How much more do I like William H. Macy now that he said that to you? You're a comedian? <laughs> Walks away. And, and but it was one of those things where it's like when it was coming out of my mouth, he? my mind and my filter and everything about me inside, <laughs> you know, being code red, bail, <laughs> bail, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but it was Abort. still coming out, it was still coming out. How did how and they're did... like, sorry, G boss, it's already in the thing, you know, we sent it out, we sent it out, you know, what I mean, what did it Nicole was... say? Oh, she blushed, all <laughs> the blood. You know what I mean? <laughs> just rushed into her face red. Mm -hmm. And she was just kind of looking on the ground, cross-eyed, sweat dripping. And, Upset. And, because imagine, so you're, you're, he goes, and you're a comedian? He walks away. This is me. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to see and, that. And Nicole Parker, is, we're just sitting there like this. And, and, I, and I remember turning to Nicole and going something like, this is my last one of these. How many had you done? Like six or seven. Oh. This is my, this were is they my, paying you money? The show was. But I mean, that was just a thing you had to do outside of the show. And also the show, I mean, obviously you're on a late night sketch show. You're not making that much money to ruin your career that's by an, going. That started your well, career. How's the, yeah, but at the time though, you think it's done. Yeah. You know. How's the, how's the department store? <laughs> you're a comedian, huh? <laughs> oh my God. The pain. How, what did Billy Joel say? What I want to So anyway, so Billy Joel, right. One, I remember one night it was after some event or something. And his him his wife and him I didn't know them at all. Right, like you. What do you mean? You I don't, barely knew him. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He was always nice to me, though. Yeah. He uh, he was always like a really nice guy. He really is. If you ever met, you ever met him? No. But Super I think sweet. they're phenomenal. So talented. Trey cool. I remember he goes, ah, let's fuck, let's not go to that bar. And I, he goes, we're staying at this hotel. My wife and I come just to the room. We'll hang out. I swear to God. No, it wasn't with that vibe. No, it wasn't the, yeah, it wasn't that vibe. It wasn't that vibe. No, no. So I just remember like come um, to the room and hang out with my no, wife. No, because his and wife I? was in the room. I know, but also let's just. So meet. She, this is what happened. Never inviting someone up to my room with my wife. Well, back then, the... it was the nineties. Yeah. So we were just like I just remember, I'm he's laying on the bed. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't. I'm like lying that. on my he's back. Laying on the bed. I'm laying on my back. And his wife was knitting. This is hot. On the fucking couch. This is porn. She was like up. making a blanket or something. And mm -hmm. we talked for like three or four hours. Just sitting on the beds. No, I'm laying on the ground. He's laying on the bed. And we're just laughing and telling stories and stuff. And I remember just going, all right, later. And I left. It was really sweet. Yeah, it was a cool little. I've had so many little moments, weird moments like that. So you have to cherish those. Yeah. And know that those are really important instead of. When you get upset and you get weirded out by the business and you're sad, you have those moments for the rest of your life. If I look back, I have so many little moments, like when John Cena, like, you know John Cena, right? No, I don't know who John Cena is. Who is he? He's an actor. Is he, though? <laughs> <laughs> he's in the W. He was in the WWE. I know. I okay. saw Fast 9. I saw, I saw Fast... Oh, he's you... in that? John, in Cena, John Cena is know, like the main opposition to... So he... Um, Vin Diesel. I remember like when... We're he, all we... about family. <laughs> I remember we did um, 24 with Bobby Lee, right? Mm -hmm. And I, John Cena, I go, I'm... We did it in my apartment. So I go, I'm, I go, I'm sleeping, so you have to wake me up, so slap me mm -hmm. in the chest. So the first day he goes like that. 
And I go, and I kind of got mad. I was just like, dude. Hit me. Well, this is television. It reads. Hit me. Hit me as hard as you can. Yes. And he goes, I'll break every bone in your body. I go, hit me. <laughs> he goes, I will break. It. I go, hit me. <laughs> See, I just remember like laying there and then like knocking out. Oh, he woke you up to knock you out. No, I was unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> like he went. Right on my thing, right? And I and went I went to heaven, right? <laughs> Jesus! And I came back into my body, right? And then for some reason I got up mm-hmm. and then um I go, go back to the first thing. Yeah, do what you yeah, did. Yeah, do before. what you did before. You're right. You was he I mean? a, was he a cool guy? I love him. One of the nicest guys. See how many small, beautiful moments. But I have you these had? little tiny moments with Billy Joel, with John Cena, with a million things. I'll tell you another thing. I ever tell you about the Asian sex party? Wait. Have we talked about that on this show? Yeah, I think that was uh, one of the first oh, five episodes. We did. Let me tell you something. I've had a lot. Of, I've been lucky to to have a lot of little moments, but I was so young in the business that you've I, had good moments. Well, when I did Punked, we met a million celebrities. Right. But I just, but I was so embarrassed about doing the show that it was a little hard for me. Like I Drake, I drove Drake to meet the president. He thought he was meeting Barack Obama. And All Joe right. Biden. Also, you're also play. You you have to be you're in the playing scene a and commit to the scene, and you have to play this guy. Almost be invisible. Yeah, you do. You yeah, have to be yeah. A chameleon. You have to be in- a chameleon. That must be hard. And then it's also like, it's not as if you're the star of the show. You're kind of just a player, mm-hmm. right? So you have to kind of be unknown almost. Well, you do have to be unknown. And then afterwards, sometimes they like you, and you get to know them. I mean, that's how I got to know Bam Margera. Like I got to know some people from the show because afterwards they were like, "Yo, that was great." Yeah. Because we also wrote the show. Yeah. So that was cool, but there were moments where, you know, we would have to mess with celebrities and you're like, then they're upset when it's over and then they hate you. And you're right. like, it's not me. Yeah. It's a thing. And they're like, no, fuck you. <laughs> really? Kind of. I mean, are there times where, I mean, obviously this happens where they go, I, I'm not going to sign the NDA for that. All the time. Release. That happened so much. It was insane. And then, and then you have some producers come up. Like, come on, man! I, they beg and they, they offer beg. money and whatever they can do. And I mean, it just doesn't work because people are like, no, we're not going to do it. Wow! I, I, uh, I unless would've... the star that punked them was so big, like when Bieber did people when we worked with him, <laughs> yeah, no one was going to say no because right. the airtime for them was like huge. Anybody said yeah. yeah. Mac Miller, who's passed away, he was incredible, and he was a kid. He was probably eighteen or seventeen, and man, he was so good, so How young. Did he die? Overdose. Oh. I mean, I, you know, it's really weird because it was like, it was an accident. I think he went to bed and took a couple pills to go to sleep and just didn't wake up. Yeah. Th- that's the kind of stuff that you should be lucky that you're alive because of all the stuff that you did. Some people just take a couple pills and they never wake up. Yeah. And you did so, so much, yeah. much more. Yeah. But you never did pills. I did. I was, that was my main thing. No, not like, but you didn't like mix a bunch of stuff and then take pills and go to bed. Yeah. I, I, I would take. Six Valiums. At night, when you before you went to sleep? Yeah. Oh, shit. I mean, Jerry Seinfeld saw my dick. What is up with that? <laughs> you hear about that? Yeah, no, we've I talked did. about that on yeah, here. Yeah, we did. Yeah. About Jerry. Yeah, yeah he yeah. hated it. Well, I did. Apparently, it was just a rumor. All right, George. I sometimes repeat myself. There's no way. You don't have to fucking shame me. <laughs> yeah, we heard about that already. Move yeah, on. He does that thing where he gets a little too... Uppity buppity. It's also, dude, listen. Do you know what he didn't do? You know what he didn't do? Didn't introduce me to his wife at the party. She had to come up to me. I know. I saw that. She goes, hi, we didn't get to meet. Yeah, I saw George, that. why didn't you introduce me to your wife and your baby? I was busy with my baby. Sorry, sir. Can, I, I was, but, but but I show up. I say, hi. I'm I just, did. Uh, how nice, I, Bob, I, was I? I went you. around to everybody. On, you were a you. sweetheart. And I went around to everybody and I said, hi. And you know who's the sweetest to me? Yeah. Everybody but George. Oh, who I know on, on a, the I, most I know, personal. I, 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 know. I know you more than anybody there. Kalila's mom was so polite and nice. The redheaded firefighter guy was incredible. Jeff. Jeff. Yeah, yeah. Whose wife works for? NASA. But UCLA, but it's NASA too. Oh, did you get that? My favorite thing about <laughs> when Bobby. <laughs> I love it. I love when it. you introduce me it. to people, I love it. your information I know is wrong. No, it's not that I like to embellish and make people look good. Always. Right? So if you, you go, work... she works for NASA, and I go, really? You go, and I and I go, in what capacity? You go, dude. On the aerospace, on the fucking rockets. And I was like, whoa. And so when Jeff goes, hey, great to meet you. And yeah. I said, great to meet you. And then he said, I said, your wife works for NASA. That's incredible. He goes, she works for UCLA, but in conjunction with NASA. I go, is she a rocket scientist? And he goes, well, she works on the pieces for the 
the pieces that go for yeah, the rocket. she works at NASA. You made it sound like she's like she's fucking no, in a I rocket. Didn't say that she was a, like a five. Does foot- Tito Bobby exaggerate when he meets when he's talking about people and what they do? A little. Yeah. Mm. We're gonna add another minute tonight for your to your set. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah this is no. We, another minute to no. your couple, set. Couple. Just a couple of minutes. Couple more extra minutes. No. Tell, yeah. tell me. Yeah. Um. If we if this goes well, this thing that we're doing, do you want to do a bad friends tour or no? Yeah. Because last time we talked about it, you were a little skeptical. In fact, you didn't even tell me you wanted to tour until Listen, 2022. I, I think that we should do this. I think uh, here's what I'm willing to do. I'm willing to do like, how about if I do 15, 20 minutes on stage as mm-hmm. stand up, mm-hmm. you do 30 or whatever you want to do, mm-hmm. right? Then we do. Um, come out together and do the come show. Come out together, but we also do a podcast almost. Yeah, you come out and do the show. We do a live podcast. How do we do it? If we could do it somehow where we do the live podcast, but also do a little stand up and also do a little double thing, right? Mm-hmm. And then Jules is there too on stage, right? If we go on, on tour, you're going. Yeah. When does school start in the fall? August 30th. August 30th. Yeah. And and then what do you have to do for school? Can you do stuff online? Does yeah. It, it, yeah. It, can't, it doesn't have to be in person. Um. Yeah, it doesn't have to be in person. Dude, the world has changed so much. I know. Can, we, uh, like, that's insane to me. You can just, crazy. now she can tour. You can tour with us. <laughs> and she doesn't have to worry about missing anything because we yeah. just have to have internet for her. Yeah. We just have to get those little, uh, what are those, you know, like mobile hotspots or whatever? Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. we need to do. Yeah. Dude, let's, what a life. No, honestly, let's book some dates then. Let's try one. We will. No, like in August. I'm serious. Let's do it. Because that's funny because uh, speaking of Rudy's popularity, which is a little much, she was getting drunk at your house, dude. She was <laughs> not, on four White Claws. Not even just drunk. Uh, let me say something. Shit-faced. Because when I looked over and I said- She was blitzed. I said, what are you doing over there, Rudy? And she goes, fuck off. That's what she <laughs> yeah, said yeah. by the pool. Fuck off. Yeah. I did not like it. I didn't like the attitude, but she said, black cherry. That's what she said. Yeah. Charles, Bukow- Charles Bukowski is my favorite. She said. <laughs> is that what you said? Yeah, Charles Bukowski is my favorite. You're big on Bukowski now? Yeah. Oh. Wow. No, yeah, you know. You are. I, I, I feel cool of that she's she's no longer a high schooler. I can see it now. She's a co- Now she's an adult to you? Well, she put a half a tank of gas in the car, which is cool. Did you really? Yeah. I put full, you not half. It, it wasn't full. How? <laughs> it wasn't full. <laughs> Is that the first time you've ever pumped your own gas? No, I did it while he was away. Yeah, it wasn't full. It was a full. No, it wasn't full. It was full. I swear on my mother's life, it wasn't. You're just blind to Robbie. Whoa. Whoa. whoa He's not going to swear on his mother's whoa. life or something. That's not true. Speaking <laughs> of which, we still need to go out it's to Phoenix so and see your mom. Oh, we will. I'm just blind. Yeah. Mm. Another minute. Ooh. No. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Five now? Yeah, it's six minutes. So, oh, six minutes now. Yeah. You listen, you keep amping it up. This is what you're going to get into. Uh, what's the male Karen? Chad. Chad? That's yeah, what they, yeah, they that's deemed what they it, Chad? Him. Yeah. So Chad is the male Karen. Yeah. You've seen this guy. You know this guy. So for the context, Bob, show me the video. See, he says the N-word. He's yelling at someone who's recording. And he, and then he's bold enough to give his address. Yeah. It's the best. And Okay, let's play the video and then, you know. Play yeah. the play video. He's out of here and he can't do shit. That's me talking shit. 3602, where I live. Come fucking see me. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting hit, pelted in the face. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at the guy. Do you, go right, go right, go right, right, go right, go right. Look at this high... guy does a fucking slam dunk ball, water ball. Right here. Amazing. Watch what this right guy there. does. Right there. This guy's the best. We got to get this guy on a podcast. D- look at our podcast. Here's a D1 Here athlete. Go. Here's Here a D1 go. athlete. Ready? Yeah. Look at these hops. Watch. watch. Dude in the hat. No! no. <laughs> <laughs> so wait a minute. He got pelted with bottles outside of his house. Did they police escort him away? Is that yeah. what it was? Well, they arrested him for um, harassment. Uh, cause he was harassing someone. That yeah, had, right. So he's you know, in, but they really, they really went there because they didn't want him, him to get killed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they, so they, he's handcuffed, right? Uh huh. And he's like, um, I, also they broke the windows in, of his house. Yeah, you don't yell the n word and then say your address and say, "Come it's the see dumbest, me." <laughs> the dumbest How fucking white nationalist I've ever seen. Dumb. Your address. You, you My give the address? address to your enemy. I would give your address. I give your me. address and then your address. <laughs> <laughs> You don't give your own address. What kind of dipshit goes, yeah, come see me. Atta- you attack yeah. an entire race of people and go, come to my house. Right, and you're not in the South. No, dude, you're in you're this, in this. New Jersey. Yeah, you're in Jersey. 
<laughs> You're in New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> not yeah, hard yeah, to get yeah, to. Yeah, not hard to get, not hard to, get yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. The de- the fact that this. By the way, the, the, you know who you know who I feel kind of bummed for. These cops are getting pelted with shit. Yeah, and they're like, all we're trying to do is get this racist out of here, so you guys don't kill him, and we have to clean up a yeah, murder but, scene. No, I'll tell you why. Because when you the video that we saw in the b- before, mm-hmm. there was, it was it's a longer video. Of right? course, so there's is, a moment where do you know the whole context of the video? The or no? moment he's saying all these racial things, like these whatever, whatever. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. There's a cop there. Oh, right. Oh, and then he's like, he can't do nothing. You know, the uh-huh. white nationalist is like, I know the law. Mm-hmm. You mean I can say whatever I want? They all know the law, by right? the way. These guys are big. They're they're lawyers. You know, this yeah. guy. They're all lawyers. Yeah, white nationalists are all lawyers. Yeah, that's their, my favorite thing on the internet. They go, I know my rights. Yeah, do you? Yeah, do you? Grade school dropout? Do you really know your rights? But let's say First Amendment, right? They go, I'm exercising my First Amendment rights. No, right? man, you can't yell racial epithets in but the street. It, regardless, it's like, but these people too are exercising their rights. Well, not to throw bottles at your I face. I know that, but, that's but just, to show up. That's just karma. I know, but to show up. To show up, yeah. That's yeah, like, yeah they they're can allowed show to, up. They can show they're up outside your up. house. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And protest your house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And protest you as a human. Mm-hmm. Hitting you in the face with a bottle. Yeah, Illegal, that, but yeah. also fun. Funny. Yeah, funny and fun. Funny. Check, yeah, yeah, yeah. check on yeah, very yeah. funny. Hey, man, turns out you can't yell the N-word in the street and then give your address and then expect people not to show up and hit you in the face with stuff. Yeah. Just a vague... That's an idea. Hey, hey, by the way, if you hate black people or anybody... um. Don't yell it in the street and then give your address. Simple rule. I would love to have a time machine. Simple rule. Go back in the past. You know, back, like if it escaped, mm-hmm. like a slave escaped a plantation, mm-hmm. white people would gather together with torches, like just like this, but the opposite, <laughs> and hunt this person down. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I would love to go back in the past and just have this video. I'm not laughing at what you're saying. I'm laughing I, at just, where your head is and, going. And, and just And to look at these white people and go, this is the future. <laughs> Show them what it's. Yeah, this they, is what it would it blow like. their minds. Yeah, be careful what you're doing now because this is the future. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Show the go back to right under the play button. Scrub, scroll back. Yeah, scrub to there. Here's where we watch our boy dunk one more time. Let's yeah, watch yeah. him dunk one more time. Can you push pause. I'll, I'll give you. Hold on. Put props. Your, you, you can turn me, the music off. Yeah. If you give me the if you pause on it at the right spot. Okay. Go and. Mid hop, ready and right. now, beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Look at that. Form. The hops look at the on him. Form. The hops. Yeah. Look at the hook. You know what? Also, for better grippage, mm-hmm. the glove. Oh, he's got a glove on for better grippage. Because he was like, if I'm throwing water bottles, you know I'm bringing a glove. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it doesn't slip. You know what I mean? Because the water doesn't come out. Right. Genius. Genius. Now let's see how hard he throws it. Let's press play. Really good Real rotation. Real rotation. Really, the yeah. follow through was incredible. It's a spike. It's a sp- it's a volleyball a spike. spike. It was a spike, dude. Volleyball coaches all over the country. Yeah, we've got your guy. Press play and and right. I mean, look at look at the elevation. Scholarship. Look at the D one. D one scholarship. Hello, UCLA. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have your guy. This guy's the best. Look at the elevation. Look at the elevation. <laughs> he used another human being. A shoulder as a shoulder pump. Perfect. If you're gonna jump, look at. Let's do it one more time. If you're gonna jump and ready, look at, it. Look at pause. this. Well, he's holding on to hit one of his buddies. Yeah. It's that, like the Olympics where they put, go on the hobby horse thing. The, the pommel horse. The pommel horse. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. pommel horse. He's pommel horsing another person. <laughs> That's amazing. By the way, this is sprinkled with some whites out there. Yeah. They got some lo- love. They got some local white support. Look at there's a grocery bag. Someone was just shopping trying to get home. Somebody was just coming uh, home from Trader of, Joe's. See, speaking of the Olympics, that Shikari Richardson thing is bullshit. Oh, the weed thing? It's bullshit. <laughs> go on. <laughs> Her mom died. Yeah, two weeks before it. Yeah, she wanted to smoke a little weed. Yeah, the problem is, it's, it's no, there's no problem. No, no, no. Here's my thing. There's no problem. I think, I think it's bullshit that weed is still federally illegal. That's our bigger problem. So the Olympics committee now is obeying by the rules of the federal government. Yeah, which the whole thing is is fucked up because you're allowed. They're allowed to approve certain drugs. Yeah, right. Yeah. you can take Advil. I can take pain relief. I can even take cortisol. Yeah. Okay. To but. Because it's still federally legal, they still obey by the federal law. Yeah. My bigger question is, why is it still federally illegal? It's, 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 yeah, it's crazy. Why is it that I'm in the state that I'm in? I can smoke pot on my porch with my family. Yeah. Huh? I can go home with my... I can smoke with a big joint. With your family? Yep, I with can. With your kids? Well, no, not with my kids. <laughs> but I mean, seriously. Yeah. And it's, With your grandparents. And though. we're good. The moment I cross an invisible line, yeah. an invisible... Estates are invisible yeah. lines. Yeah. Now you go, you can go to prison for that. It, it, for life. 
the dumbest shit I've yeah. ever heard in my life. It's dumb. My bigger problem, the Olympics thing is bad. I feel bad, but how is this still illegal? I can't. It, 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 uh, that's the broader that's the broader problem. Well, no, because I'm looking at it from, I, I'm saying, I understand why people are mad about it, but moreover, it goes, how come we can't go, can we fix this already and just make it federally legal, get this over with? Because this is the kind of stuff where you go, this is why, this is why the country it, it hates each other is because certain states have certain laws that don't abide by other states and other laws. And just because of that, the politics come into play. It's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. Yeah, but let these people smoke pot. It infringes on no one's rights. We can let the states do what they want to do for their own people. I think it should be federally legal let across the, the, the board. Let the people do what they want to do with their own people. Let the people do what they want to do with their own people. Yeah. I feel bad I feel bad for that chick. I think it sucks. I think it's fucking bullshit. But I just also think it's not a performance enhancement drug. Oh, well, Michael Phelps won fucking the most gold medals of all time and he was an avid pot smoker. Yeah, what happened there? Nothing. Hey, but was he tested? And the, well, he would the test results. He would pass those tests before he went to swim. Yeah, I, I guess that's her bad. The timing. Part of it is like, lady. Yeah, yeah. Don't you know you got to run in the Olympics? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my other side of the story. Is I'm like, it's bullshit. But also, someone should have gone. Shikari. Yeah, no. You guys smoke pot, but they're in the fucking Olympics. Like if Shikari was at the the weed party with the, the circle, you know, they're passing mm -hmm. the you're passing the joint, and I was next to him. Pass the I'd be like, you know, I, I get it, side. right? right? Mm -hmm. I'd pass it back. This no, way. you wouldn't. You'd be in so enamored by the fact that you're with one of the greatest like Olympic runners of all time. She's like, I'm not supposed to because I'm running. And you're like, maybe a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so. Maybe a little bit. No, I think I'd be like, nah, you got to run, Chicago. You're nah. like, you're an Olympics. You're an Olympics girl. We can't give it to you. Wouldn't you do that as a friend, though? If I was running. No, because let me tell you something. Yeah, or I, floating. I'm friends with certain pro athletes. Yeah. I wouldn't. If I was getting high with a pro athlete but knew that they're not supposed to get high, I wouldn't stop them. It's not my job. They're adults. Uh, who am I to tell them not to smoke pot? Do you know what I mean? Mm. Who am I? You're his friend. I know, but it's not my bit. It's not. He could be like, shut the fuck up, bitch. And I'd be like, okay, here's the weed. The Shikari thing, but by the way, it is, it's a two-sided story to me. I feel bad for her because it's bullshit. Yeah. But at this, these two things can coexist. But at the same time, why did you smoke? Why did you do it right before the Olympics? I know, I know. That's my problem. It's a two-way street. It's a bummer. It's also bullshit. I also it's think also they should, bullshit. Let, they should let her run. Of course they should. You didn't. You She's didn't so violate. Talented, you didn't so violate dynamic. any real She's got rules. Got a great personality. A great vibe. By the way, the amount of Olympians that cheat and use HGH. And I know, dude. What do you mean? Lance Armstrong was like, uh, yeah, we all were taking steroids. Yeah. Every fucking buddy, the Tour de France was all steroids. But maybe that's a lesson to, to, to learn. Maybe a future Olympic runners will be like, well, remember Shikari? What happened to Shikari? I think the bigger issue again is, yes, it is a lesson, but it's a lesson that our country should federally legalize a fucking plant that has literally no performance enhancing fucking bit. No, there's no scientific research that has been proven to find that marijuana gives you a scientific edge. Or, I mean, a, um, a, a perform you, performance You would think that it would deter somebody. It would, I mean, it that's would like hurt them. Kind of the old joke is like, oh, well, you get sleepy and hungry. You wouldn't want to run. But it's like, but some people do use it during performance. I know guys that smoke pot and go for long runs. They only will run when they're stoned. I know dude that smoke pot. And lift weights. And act in scenes. Oh, please. What do you mean? I've been with those guys yeah, all yeah. day long. There's guys like, I know. How do you fucking do that? What are they? Keenan from SNL. They say he's stoned the whole time. Yeah. But he's but he's a professional pot smoker. That's what it when is. When you smoke pot all the time, your like, body's you, used to you've it. Been a, would you be able to act? No, I'd be just sleepy. Yeah. Sleepy. So sleepy. The point is, it's bullshit. Let her fucking run. Also, legalize pot. Can we grow up and legalize pot? And because our tonight show, the show tonight is going to feature Rudy Jules, uh, I want her to end the show. You know, last time people got mad, we didn't say thank you for being a bad friend. Yeah. So we're going to do it now. All of us in the room, as loud as we can, on the count of three. You guys, too. Thank you no. for... Look at me. We're going to do it together. One. Two. Thank three. You. Bob. One, two, three. Thank, Thank you, you for being a bad friend. friend.